Greetings from the LEA convention. I'm David Mead, uh, Senior Editor at Creative Communications, and I am here today with Rich Bimler, who is our Honorary Editor of Hopeful Living Periodical. This is our daily devotions for seniors. And Rich, um, I just want to get your feedback on just Hopeful Living in general, if you could describe that a little bit for the people watching, just briefly. Thanks, David. Hey, it's always exciting to talk about Hopeful Living. It's uh, one of the better, not because I'm involved, but because because it's focused on an age group. Um, what I like about it is Hopeful Living is written for older adults, by older adults, and it has big print, and that's pretty important. Uh, just this morning, no kidding, just this morning, two people stopped me and said, thanks for Hopeful Living, and I'm, I'm not making that up. That happens a lot of times. My answer is thanks, keep ordering, order subscriptions for a congregation. And then I say, hey, maybe you're a writer too. And most of them say, oh, I couldn't write. But it's interesting that we've really got people of age who know how to write and we've never been asked before. And there are a number of our authors, that's how they started. Yes. So it's not only helping them in their faith, they're helping somebody else's faith. Right. That's what I like about yeah. And I know you yourself contribute to the periodical. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What inspires you and what might inspire other other potential authors? Yeah. Okay. Good question. Hazel, my wife, asks me that a lot. You know, um, what, what inspires me to do it is, it's, it's really, it sounds selfish, but I really do it because I need that. It helps me to focus on my faith. It, it's not about something that might happen in the future, but it's things that are happening in my own life right now. How do you deal with the neighbor? How do you deal when you're down? How do you deal when exciting things are happening? And, and it helps me in my prayer life, it helps me in my devotional life, and hopefully it'll help people in that'll write, that'll read it too. And uh, so again, folks, um, it's for you, but I'm doing it for myself too, and I think that's okay. Right, you know? there's a lot of good that comes out of it, there's a lot of good that goes yeah. into it for sure yeah. from yeah. everyone. Uh -huh. So just a quick description then, yeah. it is a quarterly right. devotional, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I'd like to have you talk about just our special edition for Advent, if you could, right now. Yeah, Advent, uh, Lent too, I think we've done Lent. Um, special booklets focused on the church here. And again, the Advent theme, the Lenten theme, again, similar writers, some new ones. But again, it's, it's always, always an interesting way how people look differently at Advent and Lent. And, uh, and so it's a good learning for the writers, but also a good learning for the readers. And that's why I'm glad as I get out, people more and more, I gotta tell you, the, the, the way it looks, the design is really good, yeah. the big print is really right. good, right. And, uh, and it's not that expensive. I mean, it's a great, I say give, uh, uh, grandparents, grandkids should give their grandparents copies of this uh, for, for, um, for Christmas, for a gift, it's not that expensive. Congregation should join. They, a lot of people ask me, "Can you get me 25 copies?" And I said, well, "Buy them yourself." You know. But, but uh, anyway, they're they're just well done, well read. And, uh, well I wanted to point out one special thing I think about our devotions is each day there is a little remember or an action, yeah. even a simple thing that uh, that people particularly. Um, our readers, that is easy to do, easy to focus on for yeah. the day. Can you talk just briefly about yeah, that? Yeah, that, that's really good. Just a very simple thing. It's not a mandatory thing. It's not a, you got to do it, but it's something you get to do. So we're talking about the Lord and Christmas, and then we're saying, well, how can you be a gift this Christmas to a person, you know, yourself, yeah. doing something like that? The other thing I like about it, too, is um, all the prayers, but also, um, how it really focuses on the back here about things to do too. It takes a theme, the quarterly theme, and uh, for example, this one gives you, um, what am I looking at? Prayers, prayers for the morning and the evening too. And then in some of the other ones, there's, um, what do we call them? Um, uh, projects to do depending on the right. theme. Yeah. Here are six things we can talk about as we deal with um, hopeful living. Um, I think right at the back, yeah, holy right. habits. Holy habits. Holy right. habits, and we, we try to play, have fun with that in terms of five warning signs of peace. 
if you feel at peace, this is why, you know, and, uh, and they're fun to write, and I think for the most part they're, they're fun to read. And, uh, and again, the focus is, is, is focusing on the Lord Jesus Christ and helping people in an awful life. Thank you, Thank you so much for stopping by the booth. Thank you. Blessings, Blessings to you. To you. Thank you.